Hey, Jonathan. Uh, in addition to being more decisive and powering through guys, looks like you showed more jukes today. Did you make more people miss? Uh, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of times when you got a guy like 99 on the other side of the ball, he tends to disrupt things a little bit. So you, you kind of got to deter uh, just a bit from your course. Um, but uh, you already know when you got a player like that, some things won't uh, read out how it, you know, it should play out uh, in practice. <clears throat> Akeem Glasby. Hey, Jonathan. Uh, I know Zach spoke to the team about toughness, and uh, but was seeing Rigo uh, introduced today and everything he's going through. Uh, I, I, maybe maybe that even transcends toughness. But what is what does it mean to see him back on the field? And what was that moment like when he was introduced? Uh, I mean, that was awesome. I mean, you saw everyone, you know, giving all the defense, you know, handshakes as they're coming out, and you know, as Rigo is getting introduced, everyone's like, yeah, this. Like, come on, like he's here. I mean, he could have he's could have made a ton of excuses uh, of why he couldn't have been there, but he was there. I mean, he fought back and, he, and the fact that he came back so quickly. I mean, it's just it just shows that his toughness is, is on another level. Jim Iola. Yeah, what, what was uh, Zach's speeches like yesterday? He said he talked to you guys about being being dogs and being tough. But what, what did you, what did you hear from him? We really talked about how dogs are always hungry. You know, you can feed a dog three times a day and then they'll still be hungry. So that's the kind of mentality and mindset we got to have coming into this game. We got to make sure that no matter if we're up by three scores or we're down by three scores, we got to stay hungry because you, as you guys saw, the game it can come down to the wire. So you got to stay hungry each and every single play, every single drive. <clears throat> we'll go last one here, Phil B. Hey, Jonathan. Um, hey, Jonathan. We've asked you a lot recently yes, about what's different, about what's changed. Maybe spin that question a little different. Think back to the guy you were in August and the guy you are now, and you're smiling. How much have you grown? How much have you changed since then? Yeah, I think I've grown a lot. I mean, especially, you know, coming in from, from the off season that we had of just Zoom meetings and then trying to get up to speed during camp, especially those first, you know, few games. I mean, you're going in with the play. Philip calls it. You know, you're going, seeing what the defense gives you, going through the assignment in your head, and – of course, him having those 17 years of experience, he sees a defensive look, changed the entire play, and now you restart that process all over again. Uh, but now, you know, getting kind of accustomed to that, knowing that, okay, he's, you know, most likely we're going to change the look. I kind of see the defensive front just a bit and saying, okay, Phillip might check out of this. So kind of anticipating a little bit, but I definitely think that I've grown and I'm going to continue to grow, but especially having a lot of these veterans around me, being able to watch how those guys operate has allowed me to grow as well.